In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of setting up a WiseNet AI camera in the web browser. The first thing we want to do is go to date and time and make sure that my clock is set correct, preferably synced to an NTP server. This way, the metadata gets sent to your VMS has the correct time and date stamp. Then, go to Analytics and Object Detection. You'll see the AI indicating this is an AI function. Then, check the box to Enable Object Detection. And then, select which AI objects you want this camera to detect. So this can be changed based on your application. There's also a minimum duration if you want to remove any quick objects, quick people or vehicles that are seen by the camera that you don't want it to trigger. And then click apply to save. Then go to best shot and check the boxes for the same object types you selected. This will send the metadata to your VMS with the cropped thumbnails of those objects. There is an exclude area if you do not want to detect AI objects in a certain area, like a doorway or a window. And then we have the common settings. Anything that's smaller than the blue box and bigger than the red box will be ignored. So if you want to fine tune what the camera is looking for, you can also adjust the sensitivity. If it's not detecting well enough, increase the sensitivity. If it's detecting too much, decrease the sensitivity. Then the last step is to go to the IVA Intelligent Video Analytics menu, which is AI enabled. Check the box to enable the function. Then you can click on the video and draw two points of a line. You can click on the line to add an additional vertex to make a complex shape. You can right click on the line to get an option to delete the line if you don't need it. You can change the detection direction as needed. Select which type of object you want to detect in the direction shown and you can put in a name for this line. And then the same thing for virtual area. You can draw up to eight virtual areas. Simply click on the screen to draw the four points of the polygon. You can also draw complex shapes for lines and areas by adding additional vertexes to the line. You can always delete that vertex if you made a mistake. Again, you can put a name for each zone and choose which object type to detect. And then for this specific zone, this specific object type, select the category of detection you want. Intrusion is motion in the zone. We also have a minimum duration, so it has to be detected for that period of time. We have entering and exiting a zone, as well as loitering. We also have appear and disappear, which is like object left behind and object removed. Those two are not AI enabled. And then we have the same common and exclude settings you saw previously to help fine tune your detection. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.